Hey everyone, let's kick off Nebula season. Welcome to SETI Astro. I originally imaged M16 back when I first got my Nexstar C8 with a DSLR uh, over a decade ago and uh, never went back to do it real justice. So I figured it would be a great target to start Nebula season off with for myself. I did get 16 hours of data on it, half of which was hydrogen, and the other half was split between oxygen and sulfur. The hydrogen is just amazing in this whole area. The, the, the whole field of view was, was covered with nebulosity. So here was the uh, unstretched version. I did run my statistical stretch and a bit of HDR multiscale transform to toned down the core a little bit and then what I did was looked at some of the darker areas here they were all around 0.15 and that's what I used for my oxygen and sulfur images to set my target median in my statistical stretch script to bring that background to that same darkness as in the hydrogen so here is my oxygen after setting the target median to 0.15 this is what statistical stretch script left me with. There's a lot of this beautiful flowing in oxygen around uh, the structure up here. Sulfur prior to stretching. And then using the statistical stretch script again at 0.15 to match the darkness in the dark areas of the hydrogen. And sulfur, I, I really like it. It's just so crisp looking. It really highlights the uh, the pillars in the in the angel here. For the stars, I did use my narrowband to RGB star combination tool, and again, it it it, it just does what it's supposed to do, and, and makes really great RGB stars. What's really nice is this star here, this really orange one, is actually a carbon star, so we would expect that to be extremely red, and it just comes off brilliantly red here in the uh, in the star field. I did utilize the 4x palette utility to create my my palette here for the eagle. It's probably a palette that's not used as often. A lot of the time you'll just see uh, Hubble palettes for it or HOO. I figured with the strong oxygen and sulfur core it'd make a, a nice palette to, to use the 4x. So here's M16 4X Starless compared to my very first M16 from about 12 years ago at this time. Uh, I was proud of this image back in the day. You can see I used some, some masking around the edges there to, to lift the core up some and uh, darken the background. And I put artificial star spikes in there. And I think we've all been there on our first images to jazz it up a little bit but i was i was very happy with this image back then and now putting my stars back in the full nebula here you could really uh it really just adds so much all these stars there's just so many stars in all this this dark nebulosity these dark columns off in the distance here like these fingers it's almost like a little tulip in here now let's go over to some of the annotated items I was able to find in a little bit of the additional science. I think everybody knows the central core and talks about that. But what I want to talk about is some objects off to the left here. All three of these objects are kind of mysterious. There's, besides them being in a catalog, there, there's not a whole lot going on with them. Uh, this one's listed as a planetary nebula, this this tiny dot up here. And then these U-wish objects are classified as emission objects, which is just a catch-all. They don't they don't know what the nebula is. And then we have another one in the Cornish catalog here, which is another planetary nebula. They're just little dots, and that's all the more I was able to find on them. And then 
pretty much all the other structure is just listed as molecular clouds and, and hydrogen structures. I will say that there was other one other structure that I found interesting. It's over here in the bottom left. There's the uh, there's this bright star here that's uh, red in color, and then some hydrogen nebulosity kind of in a straight line. I was just curious to see if if that was cataloged anywhere, uh, if it was a Harbig Harrow object or or anything I could find. Here's the same image, rotate it. I was able to find the star. It is an emission line star uh, from the, the Berkeley catalog. So it is a peculiar star. And I mean, that may have something to do with, with this object, either that or this little dot here may be part of the structure, could be a star in that same structure. Uh, again, it's just these little little things that I always like finding in these images that, you know, are outside the norm of, of looking for items. I think everybody knows that Hubble did do some gorgeous work here in the center, uh, especially around this Harbig Harrow object here. I have updated Astrobin with my M16, the Eagle in 4X. I've also uploaded uh, Starless and the annotated versions, my acquisition details, and a write-up with some of the, the crops, including my, my original image from, from back in the day. Some of these uh, lesser-known planetary and emission objects. There's a gorgeous carbon star right off the core of the eagle. We have these nice dark columns. I was calling them the fingers. And then we have the, the emission star here as well. I've also updated my website, SETIastro.com, with the Eagle in 4X, with the full view, close in crops, a write-up, uh, zoomable images. I hope you liked the video. I hope it gets you excited here for nebula season coming up. Please comment, like, and subscribe.